Hello, I am Anavoltos, and welcome back to RuneScape. So, um, I remembered from my last time playing that the reason I actually got my combat level up um, in order to reach this area was not, in fact, at all because of the fishing. Uh, it was, in fact, because I wanted a good location for chopping down willows. Now, I have to make sure that while I'm chopping here, that... Oh, wait, what? What? Wait, wait a second. Am I on the wrong account? Uh, uh wait, wait, wait a second. No, wait, was it for the fishing? Well, no, my fishing level is free. Why did I go here, then? Why did I want to unlock this? Oh, I can burn Willow. Okay, okay. Okay, I get it now. Okay, but oh yeah, I can wait. No, then why would I train up to 32? Okay, now I'm really confused because I just realized that I went here for no reason at all. But then again, oh, it was for the fishing. Wow, my brain really is all turned around. It's because I can get shrimp close to the bank. That's why. All right, so I had switched up my equipment. I had picked up the Mithril Axe, uh, a, a lovely tool, if I do say so myself, when in fact I should have simply kept with the fishing net. So let's let's dump that and pick up one of these, and let's go back out there now. Hopefully, uh, I can I can do a little little. Uh, little trick here so you ready for this you ready for this all right wood cutting level question mark wood cutting level there you go and they're gonna respond because they're not bots somebody's gonna say something somebody's get come nobody's saying anything what is this? This isn't RuneScape. You're supposed to answer. It's common courtesy. If someone asks woodcutting level, you have to answer. Ah, what is wrong with these people? Oh, wait. Oh, oh no. Uh, wait, no. Th those guys certainly would have heard it. Who doesn't answer when you ask what the level is? Who does not answer? Honestly, I want to know. This actually is triggering me now. I am actually triggered. And why does this willow look so different from the rest? It's just kind of weird. And a uh, nice fishing level. So I asked woodcutting level, and I had this whole setup, and nothing's happening. All right. Fishing level. Let's see. Any Anybody... Respond. My goodness, the player base nowadays is just so much cancer. No response. None. Wait, 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 wait. No. I've got... I've got public on. Wait, am I getting shot? No, I'm not getting shot. That's not me, is it? No, it's not. Okay, it's some some random and wait a second how is there a level four standing around here with aggressive dark wizards is there just so many that they that the wizards can't attack them all i want to see this area flooded with wizards i want this area to be a pvp area multi-combat zone uh where anybody who's below level 10 can just get ganged up on because what's my combat level oh yeah that's right it's 15 get wrecked noobs if i i can i can get another defense level without raising my combat level and i'll be a uh, level 30 defense level 15 combat who can wear adamant armor and i'll walk around with in full adamant and people will say man is that a level 15 in full adamant wow what a what an awesome guy to see um a defense pure but honestly nobody is responding what is wrong here? Ah, I, I can't even deliver the punchline of a joke. 
because he, the setup is all wrong. I cannot deliver the punchline. It doesn't work. I, I, I had this joke that I've been working on for months, okay? I had this thing rattling around my head for months. Not joking, this is not a joke. The joke is real. And I now can't use it. Well, I can. I could save a punchline anyway. But now I can't use it because nobody took the bait. And... Wh worst thing about it is... Is, is Macaring now okay on OSRS? Okay, this guy might not be a macro. He's well, could still be, because that's of course all items you would equip during the tutorial. Maybe, man, it's uh, what has the RuneScape community come to? People won't even respond to level to level requests. That's that's just the worst thing in the history, man. I I wish I wasn't on on O seven scape. I wish I was on on delicious 08 scape with better graphics, but still uh, same game mechanics and uh, none of that EOC garbage. You know, RuneScape HD. That's that's what I like. And people say, oh, but will they? Well, I, I thought Revenants were cool, and having PvP worlds was pretty cool as well. Not gonna lie, PvP anywhere. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. I also like Darkscape. Darkscape was was very good. Ah, uh, man. But people nowadays, they don't. Not even on. Not even OSRS is safe anymore. From these apathetic, just uh, just get my numbers up gamers who have no community respect, no respect to classic. RuneScapers like you and me, uh, who know and understand that if somebody asks for the level, you just drop everything and give it to them. That's what you have to do. It's a sign of respect. Not not even a sign of respect. It's a common courtesy. It is. If if you don't do that, you know what's what what that's like. That's like cutting cutting in line. Uh, breaking the queue it's not cool okay nobody respects you if you go around doing that and it's it's the worst thing it's the absolute worst thing it's like literally sitting at a dinner table and you know what you're you're taking some food and and you have a communal dip all right so I don't know what whatever it can be maybe some uh, some spicy some some spicy hot sauce I don't know maybe you like some mayonnaise not my style but I understand uh, where people go with that maybe some uh, mustard many different kinds um, and what you do is you get your food all right and you dip it all right you've got a maybe a fondue and you you dip it and and you take a bite of it and then horror of horrors you double dip in the communal dip that's just no respect no awareness no wait 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 a sec wait where who are they talking about uh, oh wait i can who goes it bum max level task all right ignore him way he's a bum Way trade 3k for a minute of your time, sir. Some weird stuff is going on. Right right here. If this is what I think it is, uh, my man. I don't know. Why are you such low level? Thanks. No one show you the secret training spot what is there is there a better spot than this uh well maybe combat training i don't know really fast levels secret training spot i gotta get in on this action where's mr mint 
I, I gotta zoom out. Where's Mr. Man? But I might... I can't show everyone. Oh man, is... Is this a bait? Is this some... some high level... Is... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna discreetly follow behind. I'm gonna discreetly. This is this is a sting operation, folks. So why is it so secret? That's what I want to know. I got maxed it. No way. That's that's fake. 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 Scam. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it out. Scam. It's a scam. Oh wait, no, oh, man. Ah, I, I spoke in my team chat. I, I, man, I, I gotta figure out. All right, all right. Uh, I gotta leave the chat for a moment. It's a scam. I write that in, and let's see. Are they in the bank? No, they're not in the bank. Did they get away? Or are they running down here? There you are. All right, I'm gonna follow them. Can't wait to get decent XP. It's it's a scam. I'm not gonna say it right away. I'm I'm gonna wait till they're maybe at the edge of Wildy. Don't tell me. Don't tell me they're gonna take a boat. Sting is on. Sting is on. Ooh, beer glass. Nah, nah. Keep keep my eyes on the prize. If if there's a sweet training spot, I want to know what it is. All right. All right. Nah, nothing to see here. Still see him in the distance. Maybe I need to up my render distance. I see him on the mini map. All right, all right. He might not see me. There's no way you can get maxed in a day. No way. That's impossible. That literally is impossible. They're just killing goblins and rats. Don't don't tell me they noticed me. Uh, pretend I'm I'm not there for the action. There we go. happens if I kill one of these. It's, no, no, it's a scam. It, it's fake. 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 It's fake. It's fake. 
yeah. I, for a moment I thought that maybe they had found a bug or a glitch, but uh, it's fake. It literally is. It's not a scam or anything, it's just fake. Uh, because it's it's a fake. It Maybe they're trolling the noob, I don't know. But I, I think I can say that that's a, a mission accomplished. Mission accomplished there. Uh, let, let me just swoop around for a cheeky, cheeky little peek. See if there's anything more going on that I'm not seeing. You know, just uh, making sure. You know, RuneScape patrol. Oh, look. It's me again. Oh, no. Okay. I, I wonder if he's onto me. Okay, he's not onto me. Okay, this is just a, a goblin killing spot. Fair enough. Although, to be fair, it's... Interesting. Anyway, let's let's move on. All right, confirmed. No glitches. No scams. It's just a a, a troll. No way you can get maxed in a day killing goblins. Uh, I I don't think that's possible theoretically. So let me think. Um, let's say you get five XP per hit point so I, I think they've got five hit points so that's 25 and you kill one uh, twice every let, let's say you kill two every five seconds I think that's that's fair uh, if you consider speed of clicking and movement speed and people taking it so that's 50 XP per 5 seconds, which is 100 XP for 10 seconds. So that's 1000 XP for 100 seconds, and that's 10,000 XP for uh, for 1000 seconds. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, wait, no, no. 25 for 5 seconds, 50... Yeah. No, that that doesn't make sense. I I think I got confused for a moment. All right. So let let me do the math again. Okay. So 25 for 5 which is uh, um No, no, no. 25 times 2 in 5 seconds. So that gives you I don't know why I'm so, I, I'm I'm thinking of multiple things here at the same time, so the reason why I'm not doing the math fast is because I'm actually thinking of something else. But uh, I'm so okay. Let, let me get back on topic. So it's a hundred XP for ten seconds. That sounds kind of lowballing. But then again, we went from a times five to a times ten. Okay, yeah, yeah, makes sense. So that's ten thousand XP for a thousand seconds. So that, of course, means that for three thousand six hundred seconds, that's uh, thirty-six thousand XP in an hour. So thirty-six thousand XP in an hour. And let, let's see how many. And it takes millions of XP in order to get to level 99. So if we assume that the XP is literally in the millions, then it makes sense that you cannot get maxed in a single day, physically speaking, because there's just not enough XP. Uh, even if you had 100,000 XP... This is annoying. If you even if you had a hundred thousand XP per hour, you still wouldn't be able to get uh, ninety nine in a single day. In other words, it's one hundred percent fake, is what I'm trying to say. All right, yeah. 
All right. So anyway, on another note, uh, that that was actually very embarrassing. Uh, what I did with the math there, it was very embarrassing. I might as well fish this. Um, I can do sea bait fishing, so maybe sardines would actually be a good idea. But I might just, I don't know. Do I want to buy? Do I want to buy bait? Or do I have bait? Now I'm actually going to check in my bank. Do I have bait? Do I want to buy bait? But anyway, it's actually very embarrassing for me, considering the fact that uh, in high school, my math skills are so advanced, all right, were so advanced back when I was in high school, that I was literally, uh, this isn't even a joke, unable to uh, communicate the math to others in my class because the terms I used in when I dis when I described the maths now now remember this isn't basic arithmetic I'm actually my worst type of math the one I'm the worst at is basic arithmetic you know classic addition subtraction multiplication dividing division that's actually the worst I'm at I'm more uh, better with uh, higher math concepts but which is why I actually was a bit slow there, uh, partially. Uh, not mentioning the fact that uh, I was distracted at the time as well. But anyway, as I was saying, when people people looked at me and they say, you always get 100% on, well, actually more than 100% because I got the extra, question, extra credit questions right as well. You always get the highest grade on all your tests and quizzes why don't you help me with this math problem? So, first of all, a lot of people, they, uh, my, my fishing spot expired. What they did was a lot of people didn't actually want to do the problem themselves, which, of course, I was having none of that because I wasn't going to do somebody else's homework. Uh, I, I didn't like doing homework in the first place, so I, I didn't want to do a somebody else's. So, I went around and, of course, I would, instead of doing the problem for them, I would have, I would, the way I would do it is I would explain the problem to them and, and sort of guide them through it. I think that's probably the best way to teach because it's a, it's the same thing with, uh, with fishing where you, you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, teach a man to fish you feed him for a lifetime so so that's the principle i sort of had because just giving someone the answers would actually be cheating uh which uh i do not approve of i never cheated in uh in high school so i'm never going to uh i was never going to uh to start there anyway even if people would have paid me i probably wouldn't have done it uh that's that's actually just conjecture uh i don't know but anyway, so they would ask me the math problem, and then I would try to explain it to them. But the, the problem is, okay, you ready for this? The problem is, the way I do math is different from the way other people do math. So I, I look at mathematics mostly in a more uh, logical sense. So, um, for example, I would maybe, if, if there's a complex problem with subtraction, I, I might, where it's really complex, I might just solve it using factoring, uh, which is, um, it, it sounds weird, but it works, uh, trust me. And I would, I would just use logical principles for mathematics to solve problems. Uh, instead of doing the work. And I would do most of the problems in my head. Um, the longest part, of course, is doing the arithmetic itself uh, because that's something that a lot of times there isn't a logical way around it, so you just have to do it. But I would do most of the problems in my head. And then afterwards, I remember, oh yeah, the teacher said, oh, you gotta show your work on this test. So I went around and 
I I sort of just drew out the way that I did it. Uh, and of course, sometimes instead of actually doing uh, the complex uh, mathematical no notation that would be needed, I would just write a paragraph, uh, especially if I solved the problem logically. Uh, and for example, there, there are certain ways to do math where it's actually asking you to do arithmetic, but uh, the way you can do it is by simply uh, using deductive reasoning and you'll get to the correct answer. Uh, that's, that's a lot of ways a lot of algebraic equations work. People ask, oh, what's x? Well, w one way to do it is to balance the equation. The other way to do it is to just uh, plug in the most likely number, and uh, there you go. You just skipped uh, yourself a bunch of math, and you've saved yourself a lot of time. Now, of course, there are equations uh, where there may be multiple answers, so you need to make sure that you know what type of equation it is, uh, so that you, of course, are ready if there are multiple answers. Um, because if there are multiple answers, then there certainly is a reason to uh, look for multiple answers. Just saying. But anyway, it, it's it's very logic-based when you get down to it. And, and that's the way I like to do math. I, I don't like to just sit around crunching numbers. That's not fun. That's not fun. That's not the fun part of math. The fun part of math is when you get into uh, geometry uh, and into algebra, trigonometry, um, calculus, and you start just logic, logicking the problems. And that's so much fun, uh, especially uh, if you're very pretentious. And uh, and you like feeling superior to everyone else. Uh, there you go. No, I and and the the thing about people not understanding the way I do problems isn't actually a joke. Um, and in fact, they probably understood the way I explained it less than the way that the book explained it, which they still couldn't understand many of them. So uh, yeah, that was not a good year for for most people in in the mathematics even with a teacher gave people a lot, of, a lot of extra credit questions and and all of that just to give people a chance and in fact then I ended up doing all the extra credit and at the end of the year my math grade was so high that they had to lower it because my uh, extra credit was so much that it actually went beyond the um, the scale as in I actually had a grade that was higher than the grading scale allowed so they had to uh, uh, sort of chop its head off now of course it was still uh, way above a hundred it's just um, it, it's just wasn't as high as it maybe could have been uh, assuming that the grading system was a bit different but anyway so so that's the time that I was so good at math that everybody else just didn't understand and and that's sort of a, an interesting uh, event uh, talking about high school man high school clicks that's that's always an interesting topic people have so what click was I a part of um well, uh, one big problem I had is that uh, although at the beginning I was maybe part of a clique, but at the end there was uh, either everybody else who was in it graduated uh, before me because they were in a higher grade level, or uh, they moved away or went to a different school for some other reason. So in, in the end, I ended up uh, in my senior year being uh, technically alone. So that, that kind of sucked, but you know what? I didn't care because I had my, uh, I don't know, my, my skills. I don't know. But anyway, the, the clique I was in is, is kind of a weird one it, it, because it doesn't 
fit into the stereotypes that people make, uh, the, the classic TV stereotypes. People might think, oh, Anuiltus, uh, a, a knowledgeable person, maybe good at math, might be a, a bit of a nerd or a geek. Um, um, uh, unfortunately, we didn't have one of those clicks. Or actually, more fortunately for me, because otherwise that maybe would have made things quite annoying for me. But anyway, I was in a click of uh, of people who would go around and they would challenge each other to fights, and then they would uh, also talk about video games and stuff. So sort of. Sort of a, an, an in-between group that uh, did a lot of different things, but you know what? It, it was a great time. Talked about this, that, and the other thing, and then we, uh, we, we did a bit of wrestling. Now, of course, wrestling wasn't allowed. Uh, fighting wasn't allowed at school, so um, that, of course, was something that we didn't do a lot but uh when we did it we definitely did it and uh man one time one time somebody actually drew blood on me which is uh quite interesting but anyway i i never actually uh and it wasn't a serious fight really it, it we weren't trying to injure each other we were just having a uh, a friendly wrestle, seeing who can take the other guy to the ground. That's that's essentially the extent of it. And uh, and of course, I being a martial artist, I did not use my martial arts uh, in 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 those uh, engagements. Well, one reason is because it's I do taekwondo, which is more about hitting people, which is entirely different from wrestling. Uh, although they're does exist some overlap uh, with grappling techniques in Taekwondo and there might be some uh, some striking techniques in certain types of wrestling. So I'm not saying that it's completely different. I'm just saying that there wasn't a lot of overlap. And also I thought that if I began using my fancy martial arts techniques, I would actually, uh, th that wouldn't be very respectful if I just used them willy nilly. So I didn't. So I, I came up with my own little techniques uh, specifically for fighting when I didn't want to use my proper martial arts techniques. And there you go. And that's... But uh, again, just saying it wasn't any serious fights and uh, nobody got injured ever. Um... And the, the worst thing that ever happened is uh, I got stabbed with a piece of mulch and some, some blood got drawn. But uh, other than that, nothing really happened. You know, get a bit dusty on the ground. Man. But then again, even when I fight people in the martial arts setting when I'm doing Taekwondo and I'm fighting people, I never get bruises, ever. It's kind of weird. It doesn't matter how hard I get hit, I just don't bruise. Now, the advantage of that is it, it makes you look really tough because um, and, and it also avoids the health problems that you get from bruising. But the the disadvantage is, of course, if you're fighting someone that bruises easily, that person can easily just claim that you're you're hitting way too hard. You're not using uh, an appropriate means of force. Now, I'm not saying that anybody does this. I'm just saying hypothetically somebody could do this. Uh, that and that, of course, can lead to a situation where. Uh, where you might not be believed that somebody is hitting you hard uh, because nobody can actually see any mark from the hit. And that, of course, now that I think about it, can lead to actually some problematic situations in a, in a domestic violence uh, uh, situation where, let's say, you've got a family member who's beating on you and uh, you don't bruise, so... 
People ask, where's the evidence? And uh, you've got none. There you go. But uh, maybe that's that's a bit of a too serious topic for the, this RuneScape game. So let's 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 try this again. Wood cutting level. Wood cutting level. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't tell me. Forty-four. All right. Cascade, 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 cascade. Twenty-eight. Come on, come on, come on, Cascade. All right, all right. Next question. Fishing level. All right. Any any late comers? Fishing level. All right. All right. All right. One. All right. All right. We got some. All right, we've, we've got a cascade going. All right, you ready for this? You ready for this? <laughs> you you want to say 99. <laughs> oh, snap. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. There you go. Max. There you go. It's max IQ. There you go. That that was a joke. Um, that's several months of thinking gone down the drain. I'm, I'm not saying that I've been thinking constantly and hard developing this joke. No. I just... Uh, I just... I just... Uh, well, that's... I just just. That's maybe the best way to put it. I just made a joke. And someone said, oh my goodness, Anavoltus, can you fly? And I said, oh, wait, wait, can I? I can fly? I can fly! That's not falling with style, I can fly. And then I decided that the best way, that, all right, you ready for this? If you can't swim, learn to fly. That's very deep. And you may say, it's not deep at all. But I say, if you dig deep, all right? If you dig deep, then of course it's deep. Because look at that. It's a hole in the ground. You can dig deep. Oh, look at that. Fishing level 9. You're digging deep. You're looking down in the hole. And what do you see there? It's it's the depth of the hole, you see. You know, I, I used to go to the beach. And what I'd do as a kid on the beach is, of course, dig a deep hole. Because that's, that's what you do when you get a bunch of sand. You just dig as deep a hole as possible. Uh, to get out of the sun and you just sit in it because it's nice and cool and then and then everybody else yells at you because it's a safety hazard but uh, then again digging deep holes is, is always good yeah. and, and I'm not talking about these shallow wide holes people dig no no just a, just a one person hole just straight down Dig straight down, and uh, of course, if you're on the beach, you'll eventually hit water, and uh, you, you'll hit nice, cool water with no real risk of uh, of crabs or algae or um, or some uh, sea jellies stinging you. None of that. None of that. But of course, uh, the one thing that you're still at risk at. Or maybe would be razorfish. Yeah, some nice, some nice razorfish. Ever seen one? Uh, it's not a fun idea. Trust me. You ever seen a razorfish? Just sitting in the sand. You're going out on the beach, and whoop de doo! You've got a deep cut on your foot. What are you gonna do? I don't know what you're gonna do. You tell me. But uh, the one thing I know I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, I told you so. I told you so. I told you that in the depth there were the razorfish. And that's why when you didn't know how to swim, you should have learned how to fly. And there you go, full circle once again. Thank you all for watching. And I will be seeing you all next time. If you'd like to uh, join with uh, one of my videos, 
Uh, if you'd like to collab with me on anything whatsoever, I am always happy to do it. Do contact me. on. Uh, you can contact me on, on Reddit. You can contact me on my YouTube comments section. Uh, you might be able to Discord me. I don't know how well that works, but uh, I will be seeing you all next time. And I will toss over and out.